Hey, we're here at Elephant Expedition. Our whole total remodel of our elephant exhibit it was uh, built in the early 90s and it was just time for a little rehabilitation. So we've created a whole new pathway, a new entrance that we take people in right to a brand new viewing deck. You can look over into the exhibit, down to their barn, see the elephants uh, all the time. I mean, it's just incredible what we've done out here. We've got it all. Hi, I'm Randy Wistoff, director of the Kansas City Zoo. Uh, Blue is joining me, a little chinchilla today. Uh, he's one of our animal ambassadors. And uh, this is just a reminder that the zoo is closed. Uh, we've had to do that with what all is going on uh, with the coronavirus. We're very conscious about all of that and want to make sure that all of our guests, our, our staff, are, are well protected. Right now is a time the zoo would normally be packed with people due to the beautiful spring weather. Luckily, the staff has been able to remain busy, but they do miss having guests. So do a lot of the more social creatures, including Ariel and Ursula here. Hi guys, my name is Darcy and I am the team lead of the show's team here at the Kansas City Zoo. And despite us being close right now, we are still here doing everything we can for the animals in our care and that includes doing our daily training sessions. Hello and welcome to the Kansas City Zoo. Yes, we are still closed, but our animals are definitely still here and being well taken care of. And we want to uh, share with you guys today some of our original social distancing animals. Hi guys, this is Evie, our Red River Hog. Evie is one of our ambassador animals here at the Kansas City Zoo and she does do shows in our auditorium when we are opening and functioning. But while we are closed, we are still trying to provide enrichment for all of our animals. And today what we're doing is we are visiting the orangutans. The Kansas City Zoo is currently closed due to the coronavirus restrictions, but that has not stopped some of the animals from getting a little enrichment. The penguins from the zoo got out and waddled around enjoying a morning of fine art and culture at the Nelson Atkins Museum in Kansas City. The animals taken a field trip. Look at that awesome shot to the museum while it's closed to the public. I always thought they'd be Renoir fans. Zoo officials said <laughs> that the penguins really miss interacting with visitors, so it was nice for them to get out and stroll the galleries. I would also like to say it was nice of them to dress up. <laughs> Well, today is a 
big day here in Kansas City. The Kansas City Zoo is opened after closing for eight weeks. People are already arriving. Families are very excited. But how is this all going to work? Families are going to come in. Groups will come in every 15 minutes. That's way they can make sure people are really spread out. We've got reminders all over the place and kind of fun ways to remind people that uh, six feet is about the length of an elephant's trunk, six feet is the length of a llama, so we've, we've injected a little humor into it. And we've got social distancing, guidelines, stripes, markings on the pavement. People have followed that uh, very well. Uh, we get up to the uh, ticket counter and they can scan their own membership. Uh, we've got staff there, but so there's no trans transaction that really has to take place. We've got plexiglass up. We've got disinfectant. We're wiping down after people take a ride. We're wiping down before more people get in. We're not doing any of our chats and uh, shows, presentations live because people tend to congregate. So we've established QR codes. I think people are just really happy to have some place to go to. There's a lot of smiling faces.